Hi, this is Shreyang Siddharth and welcome to the next video of this course of Java Fundamentals and Basics. In this video, we are now going to explore the if condition, if else statement, nested if and also if else if ladder inside our demo project. So here inside the IntelliJ IDE, let us first explore the if statements. So here I will simply define the integer salary equal to 25. Thousand. And I will simply write the if condition by using if and give it a space as per the coding convention and simply start the bracket and simply close the bracket. And in between these two brackets, I will simply write my condition and that condition will be a Java statement. So here I will simply write if salary is greater than let's say 15,000 then I will simply print a statement by using sout system.out.println you got promotion congratulations and now remember here I am using the relational operator that is greater than operator so if in case the salary is greater than 15,000 then simply print out this statement so let us now run our code so here we go this condition returns true fine so here we got this statement printed here and now we can use it like this as well boolean condition equal to let's cut it from here and paste it here and now if condition so here what we are doing is this statement simply returns a boolean value so if this condition is true then this condition variable becomes true so here if condition is true so simply execute this statement so previously I simply used the shortcut so as of now I will simply cut it and replace the condition here with the operator condition and now let us proceed forward and let us check out if else conditional statement so here right after the if clause I will simply add the else part and simply use the curly braces open it and close it as well now inside this I will again print some statement you need to work hard and now let us run our code so here we still get the output of you got promotion congratulation this part is not yet executed now to make it happen let us make this part as let's say 30,000 let us increase the limit and now let us run our code so here in the console you can see we have printed you need to work more hard so this is how we use the if else statement if the condition is true then this part will be executed if this condition is false then it will simply fall through and the control will appear here and this statement will be executed and now let us check out the nested if conditional statements so here what I'm going to do is I will simply change it to 15,000 once again back and now inside this if condition I will simply write one more if else statement so as to explore the nested if conditional statements so here I will write the if condition and let's call it if salary is greater than 20,000 then let us do something and else do something else right so inside this if condition I will write a print statement you got promotion and bonus to congratulations else I will simply cut this statement from here control X and paste it inside the else part so this is basically the nested if condition we all know that the employee has got the promotion so further we are checking if the employee has got the bonus or not so if the salary is greater than 20,000 then the employee has got the promotion as well as bonus too congratulations else you just got promotion not the bonus and if this condition is false then it will simply print out this statement you need to work more harder so let us now run our code and here we go you got promotion and bonus too congratulations so in this way you can make use of nested if condition that is condition within a condition like this 
And now let us proceed and check out our last concept of if else if ladder statements. So here what I will do, I will simply define some variables and if else conditions. So here I have simply written a simple if else condition. So this is my variable marks equal to 70. So suppose if marks is smaller than 50, then I will simply print out failed and else I will simply print out pass, right? Now this is the simple if else condition statements that we just saw. So what is the difference between if else if ladder statements and the simple if else statement? Now suppose if I run this application and we get the output as pass here. Now if you want to let the user know that what is the grade that he has secured. So for that we have to make use of if else if ladder statements. So here I will simply add more conditions such as else if condition 2 and then again else if condition 3 and so on. So here I will simply add the condition such as if the marks is greater than 30 and the marks is smaller than 60 then the user has simply got the grade of D like this. And now let us write code for let's say grade B, C, A and A+. So here this is the complete code. So this is the if condition if. If it is smaller than 50 then you have simply failed. If it is between 30 and 60 then you have simply got D grade. If it is between 60 and 70 C grade. 70 and 80 B grade. 80 and, and below 100 you have got A grade. And in the else part let us put invalid marks. Fine. So this is the beauty of using the if else ladder statements. So let us now run our code. So here the user has simply got the B grade. So how it works? The execution of the code simply starts from this condition. Now once the criteria has been met such as the criteria is actually met at this point this condition becomes true. So it simply prints out B grade and the control falls outside the if else ladder and no further conditions are executed or checked. That is once the condition has been made true then this condition and this condition is not executed. Fine. So this is how the if else ladder works. So this was all about the control statements or the conditional statements related to if else conditions. So if you like what you saw, please subscribe to this channel and do let me know your thoughts so that I can improve my videos in future. This is Shrakes from Smarthood signing off and have a good day. Thank you.